Chapter 14. The Monday following Thanksgiving break, Catherine and I roll into Miss Gordon's class, or sorry, Miss Gordon's language arts class, a few minutes before the bell. It doesn't look like I'd ever find out what Rose really thought about the trip to the aquarium because she clearly has more exciting things on her mind. Everyone is huddled around her desk. Awesome. I love the color. I didn't know they came in lime green. Oh man, that's what's up. How many songs have you downloaded so far? What's your new email address? You got IM? Videos, that's so tight. Uh, I wish my mom would give me a laptop like that. I roll closer. Rose is showing off a brand new laptop computer. I can get on the internet and find stuff for school and type up all my homework. She's telling the group around her. I've already uploaded pictures of my dogs and I've gotten my own MySpace page. So just to let you know, MySpace is a lot like Facebook, but it used to be for like younger kids. I just shake my head as Catherine takes me back to my usual place in the back of the room, a laptop. I'm still pointing to words and phrases that Mrs. V and my mother have taped up to a board that's strapped to the wheelchair. And Rose has the internet? I guess that means the whole universe at her fingertips. I close my eyes, trying not to cry, dreaming of the perfect Melody Made computer. First of all, it would talk, oh yes, people would have to tell me to shut up. And it would have room to store all my words, not just the most common ones that have gotten passed on by my dumb plastic board. It would have big keys, so my thumbs could push the right buttons. And it would connect to my wheelchair. It would not have to be lime green. I open my eyes with a start. Such a thing has to exist, right? Or something like it, maybe? I grab Catherine's arm and point to Rose's computer. Me too, I punch on my board. I do it several times. You want a computer like Rose's? Catherine glances over at Rose's laptop. It's really nice. Even I don't have one as cool as hers. No, I point. Wait, you don't want a computer? Catherine sounds confused. I've learned to be patient with people. Once again, I point to Rose's computer and then to the words, me too. I search all over my communication board and the words better, nicer, and cooler just aren't there. So I point to good and then to the alphabet strip and then jab at the letters ER. So good, ER, gooder. I sound like a doofus. Oh, Catherine says finally, you want a better computer than Rose's. Yes, I point to the board. Then I point to four and me. I get it, Catherine Clark cried. You want something especially designed for you. That's just plain brilliant, Melody. I spelled out D-U-H. What does that spell? Duh, and we laugh. Miss Gordon starts class then, reminding everyone about due dates for the biography pop project. Tomorrow, she announces, class will meet in the media center so you can make final choices about the person you will write about. And then next week, we will begin making outlines for your life stories. Any questions? Connor, always the class clown, raises his hand. Uh, I found out the guy who invented the flush toilet was a guy named Thomas Crapper. Can I do my report on him? Kids cracked up. Rodney laughed so hard his whole face turned red. Miss Gordon shushes Rodney and the others. Sorry, Connor. I get this request every year. The flush toilet was invented in 1596 by John Harrington. No funny name. Do you still want to do research on him? Connor looked deflated. Nah, I guess I'll stay with the folks who started McDonald's. If I gotta spend a lot of time looking up stuff, burgers are better than toilets. Rodney tries to bust out laughing again, but Miss Gordon silences him with a look. Who will you choose to write about? Catherine asks me as Miss Gordon walks around the class talking to students about their projects. I think for only a minute. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. H-A-W-K-I-N-G. I spell out. Stephen Hawking. I want to know how he does ordinary stuff like eating and drinking. After all, he's a grown man. 
Does his wife put him on the toilet? He has kids. How does he manage to be a dad? And I want to know about his talking devices, the super cool computers that help him talk and do really hard math problems like finding black holes in space. I type out the question for Catherine. Computer for me? Question mark. I have no idea, she replies. Let's check it out. 